Today I'm going to be trying out something I've been wanting to try out since it launched in our store. It is the Westman Atelier Complexion Drops. So this is the Vital Skincare Complexion Drops by Westman Atelier. Super excited to try them because I've been wanting to try them so bad, um, but that price point has been like, uh. They retail for $68.00. And it's basically a skincare packed tinted serum that's going to help firm, tighten, and make your skin appear more radiant. And it also is supposed to help your skin over time, which is really nice. I love the packaging. It's so sleek and beautiful. I'm going to open this up. And then here is what the bottle looks like. Gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. So this is the shade Atelier 1. Hopefully this is my shade. I might be, I might be shade number 2. But hopefully it works out. But I'm really excited. This is what we're going to be trying today. So I'm super excited to show you guys what it looks like. I have dry combination skin. Dry everywhere. And then just right here in the typical oily area of my T-zone. I get a little oily around my nose. But everywhere else is pretty much as dry as this desert is. So I'm going to go ahead and prep and prime my skin with what I have been using for my makeup daily. Alrighty, now that I have my moisturizer on, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more skincare before makeup because I have been so into a nice, hefty skincare base before makeup. I feel like my makeup has looked so good, especially now that I do have dry, drier skin. Um, anything helps. Alrighty, so now that my skincare, moisturizer, and eye cream is done, I am going to go ahead and prime. And of course, I'm going to be using my Refi Primer. This is the face primer, their sculpting primer, and I have been obsessed with it. If you are looking for something that gives you a nice glow without being too, um, like too dewy on your skin, this is perfect. Now it's like the little massager applicator because I feel like a nice little skin detox is perfect for makeup but, but yeah this primer is amazing it has hyaluronic acid in it to hydrate the skin and i just find that my skin looks so good and glowy without being too much because i don't like to look greasy i like a nice subtle glow so this primer is perfect for that i just take it and massage it all over my skin once I apply it with the applicator, then I just go in and massage it in with my fingers just to make sure it's evenly distributed. But yeah, I'm just prepping and priming my skin how I normally would for any foundation just to make sure I'm not switching it up so I can really see how the Westman Atelier Complexion Drops sit on my skin. My man made me coffee. He's so cute. It's decaf because, you know, mama's, mama's preggy, but he's so cute. He made a caramel iced coffee. Mm. Took a little bit of the brow freeze on the back of my spoolie, and I'm just going to look in my mirror and lightly brush up my eyebrows and kind of shape them how I would like them gonna be keeping this makeup look pretty natural because I want to accentuate what these complexion drops are all about and it is accentuating your natural beauty your natural skin and just giving you a little bit of a tint over that doesn't hide too much but it kind of enhances what beauty you already have so I'm gonna keep my makeup nice light and natural because I want these complexion drops to really speak for themselves and just give me what I want them to give me you know and finally, I'm going to be taking the complexion drops. And to blend these in, I'm just going to be taking my beauty blender. And I'm going to be using a beauty blender as opposed to a brush because I always use a beauty blender. And I want to make sure that I'm using this the same way that I would with any foundation to give it that fair first try. How liquidy it is. So, probably because it's complexion drops, you should only use a couple drops, I'm assuming. I'm not really sure how much I'll need for my skin. 
but so far I like the color I am very fair so I don't know why I would go darker and I'm gonna put a drop here a drop here and a drop up here um, just to target more areas where I am red and I want a little bit more coverage and I will say the texture feels like an oil so it feels like I'm putting an oil all over my skin but it's not like a greasy oil it's really nice and soft and I'm just gonna take the booty end of my blender and lightly lightly blend it in okay my first thoughts are that I am really surprised at how much coverage this actually has. I honestly thought when I put the blender on top of the product, it was just going to absorb it immediately, but there is a really nice coverage to the serum, and I'm very shocked because I really thought it was going to be one of those things where you just need a ton to actually get coverage, and you don't. I'm really pleasantly surprised at the fact that it just it covered like it the coverage is so good I will say if you don't like this amount of dewy as you can see like when the light hits my face might not be like the best for you if you like a matte finish because this is super super luminous very luminous but we're gonna see how luminous it stays because I am gonna set it um, with bronzer, contour, setting powder, all that good stuff, just like I would on a normal day. So we'll see how much of this dewiness is left um, once we kind of finish that process. Okay, so for concealer, because I do want to keep it natural, like I said, I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer because I find that this one has a really nice coverage to it, but it is nice and light for when you want something more natural. Concealer is blended, and for contour, I'm going to be taking this Face Trace Contour Stick by Westman Atelier. And this is what it looks like. Same thing, just going to be taking my blender and lightly blending it out. I'm going to be taking the Pillow Talk Matte Blush Wand in the shade Pink Pop by Charlotte Tilbury. Alrighty, the blush is blended and I'm going to just set my face lightly with this Hourglass Veil Powder. Alrighty, now my face is set with the powder. And it didn't fully take away the glow. It looks so good. I'm just going to go over with my Charlotte Tilbury blush with this NARS blush in the shade Behave. This has been like my favorite for setting any of my liquid blushes. Because it's just so subtle and natural. It's gorgeous. Okay, for lips... I'm just going to line my lips with this Sweet Tea Lip Liner. Okay, so now that my lips are lined, I'm going to go over with this lipstick in the shade Cherry Blossom from the Sephora Clean Collection. And for eyes, I'm going to be taking my Give Mascara and just doing a nice couple coats on each eyelash. Last step is going to be highlight. And I'm going to be taking this House Labs in the shade Pink Amethyst Highlight. And it is gorgeous. Alrighty guys, and that is it for this and natural little makeup look using the Westman Atelier Complexion Drops. And 
so far these are such a hit for me i think that this is going to be a staple in my oops i only have 15 minutes to get ready for work days so this is literally perfect or if you're a mommy with a bunch of crazy kids that don't let you get ready this is perfect because it blended out so quickly so smoothly a little bit went such a long way um i was worried because it's a small it's a small bottle for 68 you know almost 70 bucks but should get a good amount of uses out of that but yeah i'm gonna just go up a little bit closer so you guys can see what it looks like um just a little closer but so far, it is so beautiful, especially if you like a natural makeup look and you like that dewiness, you like that glow, or if you're like me and you have really, really dry skin that instantly sucks up any moisture it gets, this is perfect for you. And I just have a little bit of creasing under my eye, but I'm going to be honest, um... I always have creasing with like all of my concealer and foundation, so I'm not really sure how to stop that. But the complexion drops itself. Um, I am in the shade one, and it's a really good match because I am more on the fair side. But give me one sec. I'm going to take you guys to the sunlight so you can see what it looks like in natural daylight. All right, you guys, I am in front of my window, and this is what it looks like. The glow is there. The dewiness is there. It is definitely not a natural or matte finish. This baby is luminous. But I'm living for it. If you have dry skin or if you like that glow, the West Antillia Complexion Drops, this is something you should definitely try. You know, 68 bucks. I, I know. That is a lot. So I would go, go get a sample of it. I'll try it out. Sample it out. You might love it. So far... I'm loving it, and this is definitely something I'm going to reach for in my everyday um, quick makeup routine because they were so easy to use. But yes, I love the way it looks. Looks like my skin, but better, a little bit more glowy, dewy because I do have really dry skin. And I'm really surprised at how well um, it looks. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video if you want to see more reviews on products like this. I am working on creating more film ideas for you guys. I'm trying to get them in the works. I'm just tired. <laughs> but yes, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.